The year was 1899, and Goddard was sitting in a cherry tree behind his parents' house. He was 17 years old. He had this vision of a spacecraft rising from the ground and traveling into space. Then he began a quest for how you could actually build a spacecraft. It took him 10 years to figure out that the rocket would work. It wasn't at all obvious at the time that the rocket was the way to go into space. Goddard was first and foremost an experimenter. He worked on rockets. The Smithsonian asked him to write a paper on his research. The paper was published at the beginning of 1920. It was called A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes. In 1920, the idea of space travel remained a fantasy. And here was this physics professor endorsed by the August Smithsonian Institution saying, yeah, spaceflight's not a crazy idea. We might be able to go there by developing rocketry. He became the first person to launch a liquid fuel rocket. And that's what he was most remembered for later in his life but he was chasing this dream that he could find a practical way to go into space. He was always hoping that he was on the verge of a breakthrough, that this next rocket would be the big rocket that made it into space. He never was successful in doing that. He died on August the 10th, 1945. We celebrate Goddard because he was one of the earliest rocket pioneers. He inspired people to believe that space travel was possible, that it wasn't a crazy idea.